Well, good Monday afternoon to y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home, the Sticks. Lord of mercy, I hope everybody is having a good start to the work week or just a week. But I'm here to tell you y'all, over here in East Central Mississippi, it looked like it's finna come a flood. But what I wanted to share with you and y'all today is, today, hopefully before the rain starts, I wish I could have done this sooner, but I want to turn that dirt over there in those 16 foot raised beds into some better soil. So give me a second, we finna walk over yonder, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, Dan, what are you talking about making dirt in the better soil? Well, what I probably never told you and y'all is, in those 16 foot raised beds, when I first built them, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, I used topsoil to fill them up with. And that's not the best thing to try to garden with, just straight up topsoil. A dollar a bag for 50 pounds, yeah, ain't good stuff. But what I have done is, and that's what I get for listening to folks, but anyways, what I did was over the years, I amended those beds little by little. And it, it's, uh, it's not dirt, but it could be better. So I'm gonna use these three things right here to try to get that soil better slowly. And I'm using some Epsom salt, some bone meal, and some borax. All right, Dan, what you talking about? How, how you come up with that? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Mark and I from Bumblebee Junction have been going back and forth uh, quite often on soil structure. I pick his brain on soil structure all the time. What Mark, and this is my, I'm gonna get a credit to Mark because this is his idea. I'm just gonna roll with it because I, I trust where he's coming from as far as soil structure. But since I already have stuff growing in that 16 foot raised bed, and we're gonna go over there and I'll show you that, um, I'm gonna try to use those three things to help improve that soil slowly. It shouldn't, uh, I've been fertilizing everything in there, so this is just gonna be a, a really, really, really light mixture that I don't think is gonna mess with anything or burn anything or anything like that. But let me get set up and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. All right, y'all, it started raining, so we're just going to have to seek cover and try to adapt and overcome. But what I have here is about a quarter cup of bone meal. All I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle that in there. And I'm probably going to use about two good tablespoons of Epsom salt. There's one. There's two. The last ingredient in this mixture is boron. Y'all hear that rain? Here is our borax, which contains boron. And I'm gonna use a very, very, very small amount boron. Let me see if I can get this thing open. Probably something like that, small amount. Into that, that goes. Now, what I'm gonna do next is, all I'm gonna do is take this old piece of PVC right here. I'm just gonna get this stuff a stir. All right, that's what it's looking like. How are you doing this, Dan? Well, show you those Kushaw squash. I actually have one fairly sized one sitting on a vine. But guess what? Uh, it's starting to, to turn black towards the end. So I'm probably gonna lose it. And it, it's a nice squash too. But hey, that's my fault because I never really thought about the soil structure before I actually planted those Kushaw squash. Everything, everything that you grow requires certain things. The borax or boron and certainly the phosphorus are certainly two things that need to be in the garden and the same thing with magnesium because in order for a plant to suck up calcium it has to have a boron and magnesium. Everything has to work in conjunction with the other so the plant can take up the nutrients. So I know it's not a nitrogen thing because them, them vines are green as all get out. So what I'm gonna, attempting to do is slowly, slowly uh, get that soil back up to where it needs to be. Now you saw me mix up that mixture in that five gallon bucket and all it was was just, just plain water. Ideally, I would have liked to have taken uh, that five gallon uh, bucket of water and let it sit for maybe a day just to dechlorinate, but just don't have the time to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let that steep 
probably for about two hours. I'll stir it constantly and just let it steep so all of those ingredients can incorporate before we put it in the 16 foot raised beds. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it today because of the rain, we'll just have to see. So give me about two hours and I'll turn this camera back on. All right, y'all, here we go. It's been about two hours. Here is my solution of, so that's water, bone meal, Epsom salt, and a pinch of boron. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have to go old school because I don't know any other way to do it, but I'm just gonna scoop some of this out and kind of like this right here and just give these guys a good drink of it. Well, actually, I'm gonna give everybody a good drink of it. More or less, these guys right here. Get the gist of what I'm doing. Here is that uh, kush, y'all. It's a nice one, but look at here. Look at the end of it. Ah, boy, that makes me sad. But I'm just gonna let it grow, and hey, if it uh, doesn't keep spreading, I could just cut this joke off there and still use that. But I have some, some other ones that are getting their grow on. Let me get to doing that, and we'll talk, uh, we'll bump some gums here when I get done. And you killed string bean in a rubbery. Little did he know as you ran away The cash you wrapped was stashed in play Oh poor string mean as you heard him say So yeah time to Alright there you have it brothers and sisters I used that mixture that uh, Market Bumblebee Junction advised on and hopefully it'll work Maybe we could save these Kushaws I don't know we have to see but everybody pretty much got a shot of it so we're just gonna have to see what happens. I uh, wanna make this, this dirt, or this soil, I'm gonna make it even better. So I'm thinking by using that every now and then, it'll slowly bring this bed up to where it needs to be, and that's both sides. And I apologize for the wind, y'all, but boy, that wind is just knocking over everything. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, watching it, and I thank y'all for watching it. And again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Monday. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over and give me a look because I'm always doing stuff, really. And with that being said, you know what's coming. Dan Reference show enough, I always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. There's some folks out there that going to want to dull it. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.